All right, hello my friends. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing on with the third week of Defemerember. So the prompt for today is plaid and polka dots. And it says, please touch. So we want to get something really nice and textury going on. Let's go ahead and grab our scrap for today. Whoop. Didn't mean to grab both of them. This one's for tomorrow. Get back in there. Okay. So we've got this lovely lace from Margie. Uh, Margie does post here on YouTube. I will make sure to leave a link to her channel below. And uh, let's see, I have, oops, there we go. I have this lovely felt, uh, plaid felt that I think we're going to use today as well as possibly, I haven't 100% decided yet, but this Tim Holtz uh, polka dot fabric that I think we'll use. So my idea is to make not exactly a stuffed animal because it won't be stuffed, um, but to do basically like a an empty stuffed animal. I don't know how else to say that. Um, we're not gonna be stuffing it, but we will be making um, a double-sided uh, bunny is what I'm thinking. So these colors don't go too much together, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm really quickly going to create a template for the bunny that I'm going to cut out of this felt twice so that I can sew those together. And we might be doing a little bit of staining on the fabric just to, to bring those a little closer together. We'll see, we'll see. But so yes, let's get to making our bunny template. Okay, I'm quickly going to cut out a rough size for my bunny. Where did I put my scissors? There they are. Um, so I kind of got this idea from uh, Barbara doing her stuffed Effie, but because I want this to go into my journal, I do not want to stuff it because that will take up way too much space. But I wanted a soft little thing. Lots of people made little stuffed effies or pillows and such, and I didn't get to do that. Um, so we're going to make up for it by making a bad bunny. Why is it a bad bunny? Well, because bunnies are bad. Don't ask me questions. Everyone knows bunnies are bad. <laughs> uh, but sorry, that comes from, uh, well, me, but also my mom. It's just a thing. Bunny bunnies are naughty. It's known in our household. So... I've got those two. And I think to make this easier on myself, what I'll do is just trace it once, cut it out, and then sew around it on the other piece. So we'll do that. Okay, so what would make this a lot easier is if I had a sewing machine. I do not have a sewing machine. Uh, so 
I'm gonna have to hand stitch all of this. All right, guys, you see how I'm starting it? I'm gonna do the rest off camera because this is gonna take me for absolute ever. I will see you when I'm done. Okay, we got our bunny shape uh, all cut out and sewn together. Messy stitching, I'm fine with it. It's, it's the only way I can do it. Uh, so really quickly, I'm going to make little fold over parts for the ears and the little front paws here out of the same material. And I'm gonna make the belly and the inside of the ears and maybe the cheeks out of the polka dot one. So let's get to it. Okay, got all my pieces cut out, and quickly before I attach everything, these pieces I want to stain. And I think for that I'm going to use my Antique Linen Distress Oxide Spray. Okay, so I'm actually going to... I don't know how I got like a square corner right there. But, so that goes there. And this goes here. This goes here. And this goes here. And this go there. And these. Oh, here. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, so uh, really quickly again, off camera, I'm just gonna go ahead and sew all of this together. And uh, once that's done, I will be right back with you guys. Okay, all sewn down. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, I was thinking to use some buttons for the eyes and the nose. Let's see. So I have these. That's awesome. It's very creepy. It's kind of like that movie. What's the movie with the sewn button eyes? It's like Cor Coraline? Is that it? Anyway, yeah, super creepy. Love it. Okay. How about this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, wait, hold on. I also have these. Uh, round felt pads. I got these to use on the back of coasters. I make resin coasters sometimes, um, if I can get it open. Hello? Hello? Okay. And we could just do... Hmm. Is that better or worse? Is it creepier? 
I don't know. I actually think I'm going to use these instead of the buttons. I do like the buttons, but I like I like this and it gives us an extra another extra texture. I mean, I guess the buttons do too, but well, oh god. I don't know. Hmm. Cuz I mean, it's too big for his nose, isn't it? Well, I could just do it for his nose and then use the buttons for the eyeballs. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so let's go ahead and sew the eyes on really quickly. Oh, and I got to do his tail, his fluffy tail. Don't forget about that. So I was thinking to use this lace that we got from Margie and kind of bunch it up like so to make a little tail. Is that cute? I think so. Yes. Okay. So. I will attach those quickly. I don't know how many times I've stabbed myself today, but it's a lot. <laughs> I am not great with sewing by any means, but I was jealous everybody else had cute little Effies and I can't have an Effie because I don't have colored ink for my printer. So I thought instead I'd make myself a naughty bunny. So yeah, I'll get, oh, <laughs> that was dangerous. Now I'm throwing needles. Um, I will get that sewn up really fast and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we're done. What do you think? I think he's adorable. I was going to put him in my journal because we're supposed to be making ephemera for the journal, right? But <laughs> I think, I think I want him to stay on my desk with me. I don't know. Let's look. Maybe we can find a page that says he belongs there. Mm-hmm. I'm not feeling anything at the moment. Nope, I think we're gonna keep him out. Keep him on my desk with me. He can be my little friend to uh, create with since I don't have an Effie. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next prompt. Bye.